Hey folks, today we're going to be going over the cost of a stack and the math behind it. Uh, now, this math has been refined since my plus 40 video. Um, my math was a bit off, uh, just, well, basically my brain melted. Uh, I wasn't doing my math properly. This is the correct math behind it all, um, and I'll go through it all. Uh, but first, please subscribe if you haven't. I'm pushing for a thousand subscribers, and then I'm going to be releasing my... Um, enhancement profit calculator uh, spreadsheet that I made. Um, I'm only going to release it at a thousand subs because then I basically start getting paid from YouTube, hopefully. Um, and it's simple as that. So anyway, uh, without further ado, so the cost of 30 stack is 9.324 million. Now that's because it's 84 black stones. Black stones are currently 111,000 on um, EU right now. Uh, I think they've fluctuated a bit, but I've not had to buy them. So um, now the math I did before as well, and the 40 video was with my version of a 30 stack. So when I use a 30 stack, I get a 33 stack because of the Rupi's travel log. Hard word to say, apparently. Uh, so like my maths was completely off. So imagine having plus three on each of these is what I actually had from these, but also my percentages were for a three higher stack. So anyway, all we really need to know for the cost of a stack is the cost of a concentrated magic blackstone, the repair cost when you fail, and technically the cost of the item you're enhancing, but because we're using the Reblath boots, they're the basically, uh, we're never going to sell them. We don't have to rebuy it if we fail. Uh, it, it's just in our inventory constantly, so we don't really put the cost of that in there. You can, but... the over time, the, the actual cost of it is going to be minimal because at the end of the day, you're not having to buy it every single time. That would be more in your initial setup cost rather than the actual ones anyway. So basically, from a 30 stack, if you use a pry, you've got a 30.77% chance of getting a 33 stack. No, wait, sorry, of losing your stack, it's a 69 point... <laughs> uh, 23% chance of getting the 33 stack. So the way that this works is, first of all, you take the percentage chance, and then you times that by the cost of your fail stack and the cost of the blackstone. So basically what you're doing is, if you succeed, it costs you a blackstone and it costs you the cost of your fail stack. Now, if you were to fail and get your fail stack, it's a case of you times it by the percentage chance of failing, the cost of the, uh, sorry, yeah, so the percentage chance of failing times the cost of the blackstone and the cost of repairing. This is because we're working out the average over time, not your current stack whether it went up and that's the cost. So overall, over your whole enhancing career, this is how much a 33 stack should cost. That one click is 4.697 million, uh, which means for the cost of a fail st 33 fail stack, we add the cost of a 30 stack, which again is guaranteed, that will never change. Well, changes depending on the price of Blackstones, uh, plus the cost of that click. So it's 14 million. And then you basically go, okay, so now it's a 33% chance of success with a pry. So then that click will cost you 6.467 million because obviously, um, I don't know why I keep saying it like that, but it's it's how my brain works. So anyway, uh, so that's going to mean that because you've got a high percentage chance of success, it's going to cost more or calculate in more of the cost of this stack because you're more likely to use this stack up. So because your stack gets expensive each, more expensive each time, and you get a higher chance of success each time, it gets more expensive per click. So if you were to do three prize to get to 39 stack, that 39 stack costs you uh, 29.5 million. But if you were to use two duos, so you go from a 30 stack to a 34 stack, one click, oh, your first click is gonna cost you 4.16 million. Um, that's a 25% chance, and you go up to 34 stack. Now that's 13 
uh, 0.484 million for getting a 34 stack. And now, as some of you may have already realized from here, it is cheaper for me to get a 34 stack than it is for me to get a 33 stack. Now, I know what you're wondering, like, why not just do duos then? But you've got to take into account, you're not always going to have a duo there ready unless you're going to buy them off the market. And then that changes your pricing because you've got to consider the cost of buying them. And this is why having just a stock of things so you can kind of go different ways to make your stacks uh, averages out the prices overall. So then after you've made a 34 stack, you've got a 27.5% chance to get a success and lose your stack. So then you, you basically, again, th this is all just using the same math. Sorry, my mic's bugging out, and my mic, my camera's bugging out a bit. I'm gonna get it replaced soon anyway. Uh, I've got a new one coming tomorrow because this one started playing up. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, a 38 stack costs 19 million using two duo taps. Now, what you can do is you can kind of combine them and work out what works best. Uh, you can use tries and tets as well. Uh, it's just what you've got in your inventory. Obviously, using those tries and tets, you've got a less chance of success. So therefore, your fail stack will be cheaper. Plus, one thing you've also got to consider is this tap costs you 4.1 million. This tap costs you 4.6 million. I'm just ignoring the digits below. However, this one gives you three stacks and this one gives you four stacks. So therefore, per stack cost, this is like 1.02 million, whereas this one is closer to 1.9, 1 1.8. My maths is, I'm getting bugged by my camera flickering. Um, but yeah, so like, as you can see, it is much cheaper to use the duo, but you're not always gonna have a duo. So what we do is we say, right, so it's 19 million for a 38 stack, it's 29 million and a half for a 39 stack. So what's the average between those two? So we just put in the those two and average them. Basically, you add them together, divide by two. Halfway between is 24.294 million. So that is the cost of your fail stack. Now, my camera is bugging out completely. I'm just gonna leave this in. This is why I'm replacing my camera. Um, hang on, I'll see if I can just fix it, maybe. That fixed it last time, that's made it worse. Come on, fix, please. No, okay, uh, anyway, I'll just keep going like this. Sorry about the spasming on my mic. Uh, but yeah, so the actual cost for me for these is 292, making them myself. And as you can see, that's just made everything a bit cheaper. I save a million. So there you go. Uh, that's the math. If you need a, a better explanation, I'll try and put it in the comments. If you just send a me a comment, I'll break it down even more. Thank you for watching and see you guys tomorrow when I have a new mic uh, camera so it's not doing this. <laughs> Ciao for now.